yeah, I will have to move that sometime, but not today, not today. Morning world, welcome to Thursday. What's the date? Thursday, 8th of December. And blue sky, sun shining, it's quite nice. Yeah, yeah, it did. But I was talking to James about it this morning and he did say to me that um, there are those uh, owners that have been putting like metal guards on the back of the mirror to stop them being smashed off by lorries like what happened to me yesterday. The problem with that apparently though is, is that uh, um, the metal guards don't give. And what happens is the whole arm tends to come round and it smashes the door so yeah the metal shields might look nice but actually it's much cheaper to replace two small mirrors than than an entire glass door so um, I was hoping to get to do some work with this today uh, but two reasons why it's probably not gonna happen the first one being was um, I've had to take my missus to her appointment in Cheltenham this morning Emma was supposed to do it, but she couldn't because my grandson was very poorly last night. They ended up in hospital. So because Emma couldn't do transport, I had to do it. Um, and this morning, it was really cold. Really, really cold, like minus three. All this was white this morning. And the only job I've got that I can really do with that tractor, the only thing I've got that I could do is a bit of chain arrowing. And it's one of those things where I could do it doesn't really, it's not desperate, it doesn't need doing right now. Um, and I haven't got the top link pin to go on the chain arrows because that went with the topper that they took when they bought it. The, it's really complicated, okay? It's really complicated. So I'm gonna have to do a review on this tractor on more or less no experience. So all I can give you really is an opinion on the very small amount of time I've managed to spend with this tractor. So first thing I will say for me, a bit big, only a bit. Um, I got a funny feeling maybe the big tires make it look bigger anyway, but um, yeah, so it's a bit big for me, but a very, very capable machine. Uh, very electronic and lots of stuff to learn. I mean, the couple of folks I spoke to, I said, you almost want a university degree to fly this thing. It's like, you know, it's like flying a blinking plane. And I'm sure actually some planes would be easier to pilot than operating this as a field work machine. So uh, yeah, it's not something you're gonna learn in five minutes. But this one comes complete with front linkage. Quiet. Front linkage, front PTO, front spools, front electrics. It's it's got all the toys, everything you need, um, plus loader. You can isolate the loader and um, front linkage with those taps down in there. I uh, can't remember which one does what, but apparently you can lock the loader up in the air if you want, and then you can use the front linkage, and that basically means um, that you don't press a lever, because the lever up in the cab does both. It will do this, and it will do that. But you don't want to do it both at the same time. If you've got an implement on the front, you don't want to be lowering that on the ground and actually find you're dropping the loader on it, do you? No. So, uh, yeah. So I'm making this video just in case I don't get the chance to do any work with it this afternoon. Because there's another reason why I probably can't do anything with it today. And that is, oh, I've just locked it. And that is, today's the day I collect our beef packs from the butcher. So we've got eight beef packs coming back from our butcher today from the animal that was set off last month um, and I got to pick that up usually between three and four o'clock I go over there so I got it back here for four o'clock because most folks will turn up about half past four between half past four and half past six to collect their beef 
So I've got to empty the van out, I've got to clean it all out, make sure it's all spick and span, ready to go and do that. So hence, this is as good a review as you're going to get, I'm sorry. Diesel, def. Right, we've done that. The cab. My brother got in here yesterday and he thought it was um, tight in here. He did also admit that he's a bit bigger than me um, and he didn't put the steering wheel up. I, I, hadn't, I hadn't put this fella up out the way. So getting in and out for him, not knowing about that pedal, not knowing about the steering, I'm sure that would make it easier for a big fella to get in and out of here. For me, I don't really, I'm so used to not bothering with the steering column on my case. I just always go around it. Um, but I think possibly, because the buddy seat sticks out a little bit, you've got, you've got a, what, a, a 12 inch gap to get your butt round inside there. So it's not a, not a big space, big enough for me. I don't have a large ass. Um, so a little bit of space up here, cubby boxes and um, 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 quarter light windows. Uh, apparently lots of people like these quarter light windows and I can imagine that there will be certain times of the year when you not too dusty and you want a bit of air in the cab and you don't want the fans on and you don't want the aircon on yeah that could probably be okay and I reckon I don't think my dog would get through there I actually think that in the summer if I had that open and a bed in there I think my dog would actually really like that so as far as a dog's concerned this is okay, this tractor. With this shirt, it's a little bit tight out there for her. So some of you will be saying, why on earth do you care about the dog? Well, you know, I do. The dog is, she goes everywhere with me. So I want her comfortable. So I would, if I was to buy this tractor, I would maybe even look at changing this top, but making use of these little screws and something and actually finding something other that I could put a dog dog's bed on there. So there you are class, if you're watching this, as a option for your tractor, create, you've got your shelf, your pens and your phone and stuff there, but create a space for the terrier, okay? Dead important, to important. And I reckon you will sell some tractors with that option, all right? Option like, not, not standard, you know, it's an optional extra. Do you want a terrier shelf in your tractor? There. Uh, my commission is quite reasonable. <coughs> Underneath the buddy seat, there is a buddy seat. Um, yeah, buddy seat's okay. Nothing, nothing special. It's buddy seat works. I do like the fridge underneath though. So there's a storage box underneath there, which is fed from the air conditioning, which you can put your big bottle in and a chocolate bar or something in there or your box of sandwiches. Fridge. I like that idea. Uh, visibility in here is actually pretty good. You all know that I'm not a big fan of uh, middle pillars. Uh, they have their uses. I mean, without the middle pillar, you wouldn't be able to have that window. As a yin and yang, but for me, for hedge trimming, I don't know. He's not too wide. I could probably, I could probably live with that, the hedge trimming. But um, on the Massey, I think it was maybe a, a fraction thicker, and it was just harder to look round. On the case and the New Holland, there is no pillar. It's just a wrap round door, which for hedge trimming, is I think a better job, bigger door. But yeah, so visibility in here is excellent. Uh, if you want to put a loader on, well, which obviously we do, you're doing some loader work, then the panoramic visibility is also excellent. I like this. Um, I wouldn't want anything falling off the loader on top of me, mind. I don't know if there's any security grill you can put on top of this, any sort of steel frame. Um, that if say, say you're lifting something up the pallet forks, concrete blocks or something, you know. Is there something you can put over the top of there? I would have thought there would be. <coughs> so yeah, that's good, and the sunscreen. Okay, the key, the ignition is over there. Okay. And you have all the information you need for your engine, and apparently you can scroll through that 
there's little toggles on here and down there and around that you can scroll through different types of, hang on, let's turn that off a minute. We don't need that. So that's a nice clear screen. I can see everything I want to do on there. Um, have I used that? No, apart from checking the unlock on the hydraulics because green is front loader. Unless of course it's F3 because then that is the pull out um, draw bar on the back. Took me a little while to assess that. All of our PTO speeds are up here. So 540, apparently this doesn't have um, the 1000 Eco. If you're running a 1000 RPM, I don't know. How many things run a 1000 RPM with Eco? Usually you're chucking some power through something if you're on a 1000 RPM. But anyway, so, so 540, 1000, 540 Eco. And I think that was possibly the break for the PTO. Um, and there's another one down here. I think that was, oh, which one was it? It's a couple of days ago since he told me. I think one of these down here also has something to do with braking. So hydraulic locks, autos, um, for four-wheel drive, and um, I don't know if that's some of these got to do with headland control. Um, diff locks, second diff lock, I'm not sure what that is. I think that was for, um, a secondary pump. This tractor, I think he said, only has the one pump, and that's all it needs because it's a big one. But I think there are versions of this that have a second pump. Maybe it's a smaller chassis, and this one cab fits all. And then you, if you want to use something with more hydraulic flow, you can flick on a second pump. I think that's what that's for. Uh, front suspension, and I think that's trailer suspension, or trailer braking. I think you can... I think you can test the trailer brakes without the tractor brakes. If you know what I mean. So if you want to, if you've got air brakes, which has got air on this, um, you can test the brakes. Something with that button there, you can test the brakes on the trailer without using the brakes on the tractor. I'm assuming you just drive along, put your foot on the clutch, hit that, and the trailer locks up. I'm just assuming that. Hand throttle, depth control. Uh, front PTO, rear PTO, hazards obviously. This is your unlock button that if I want to do anything on a hydraulics, basically I've got to flick that on and wake everything up. So this reminds me of the 5S, which had that function, the same, same function as well. I think that was on the gear stick as well, on the, the joystick. So this isn't actually gear stick. Gears are this. Okay, so a little nudge goes up a gear a big nudge with a click goes up a range or down a range. So it's all it's all at hand, you know, it's all there. So where to keep me pen and me secret Mars bar or crunchy bar. <coughs> where else was I? So this tractor comes with an ashtray. Or something. What else you could put in there? Put your change in there, car park change perhaps, I don't know. Hello, emergency pub money. Uh, pick a pinch, uh, unlock, unlock. 12 volt power. Um, any other power at outlets in here? So, uh, what have we got down here? So, I'm not sure what that is down there. And I don't want to pull the top off of it. So I'm looking, is there any USB connectivity in here? Uh, if it is, it's hiding. So I'm just looking for somewhere you could charge your mobile phone or your... Um, hmm. So, that's not, what's that down there? What we've got down here, so we've got no, these are all these are all twelve volt. Uh, these are all for your connectivity for your either sat nav or for connect machines up. No, I can't see any connectivity for. Um, never to plug your mobile phone in. Not that matters because that's easy enough to add it in. I mean, you've got space there. There's going to be power there. I'm sure you can put take one of these out and actually put a couple of USB points, ports in there if you wanted to. So uh, so another service, green service on here. This is another uh, electronic uh, remote for the back spools. 
and I can't remember what that one so oh yeah that one currently controls the rear top link um, so yeah that's what he's plugged into the minute anything else I can tell you in the cab haven't tried the radio oh what's that there oh I thought there was a USB port there is that a USB port there I don't know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick the cover off to find out. Um, all right, and that goes in there. Like that. Okay, so that's pretty much inside the cab. <coughs> uh, okay, so that's obviously got something to do with ventilation. So ventilation in here, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Those vents there. We've also got vents down round by our feet. We can turn around. So yeah, ventilation is better than the Massey because if you remember the 5S, all the ventilation was in the roof and that was one of the downsides for me because um, I suffer with uh, issues with my neck. Um, if I wanted aircon on, I had to have it blowing down on me where well, I'd rather have it, to be honest, blowing up. So, right. Uh, yeah, that's that. Cup holder. Cup holder with an ashtray in it. So, small cup, mind. You wouldn't get a bigger in there. A um, bit more storage down there for your paperwork. And something up there. No USB up there, is there? No. Okay. I think that's pretty, pretty much it inside there. There's nothing else I can show you in here. The radio, I'm pretty sure works. Okay, right. Outside. Okay, so outside, first impressions. It's a smart looking tractor. Uh, styling, um, I don't dislike the color. Um, I don't say I love the colour, but I don't dislike the colour. Not, I'm not a big fan of the styling of the front. Uh, that to me looks like a giant spider. But if you bought it to work it rather than look at it, that doesn't matter. If these lights do the job, I don't think there's any LEDs. I think this is all halogens on this. So if they work, they work. Uh, front suspension, I was told that there are 16 grease points. That's eight a side. Two, four, five. There's obviously some more there. I bet there's one underneath there, and I bet there's one on the top there as well. So, in that area there, eight grease nipples. Eight grease nipples. Um, there is basically grease nipples everywhere on this tractor. I don't. Um, I don't mind that. I. I like. I like to grease stuff. The pickup hitch is exactly the same as what's on the Massey 5S. I actually like this system. I prefer this to uh, the new Holland and Case. Um, the pin that drives in on both of those I didn't get. I've never really managed to get a clean pickup with that. So this is much more mechanical, and I I just like the way that that works. The pickup hitch itself took me a little while to suss that out. You can't see the hook from the cab very well. You, if you crane your neck and lean right out, maybe, but then you can't reach the clutch pedal. Um, the mirror on the window up there, kind of all right, but I'm pretty sure that's one of those things that once you've got to know the tractor and your stuff, um, a lot of it is kind of like sixth sense on, on pickup. You kind of know where stuff is and there's always a way around things always a way of anything so um so yeah so i didn't get on overly well with the pickup with this but it wasn't any much harder than anything else they're all you know if you've got a bad back or a bad neck a pickup pitch is always going to be hard work <clears throat> one two three four remotes um uh trailer electrics i presume that's just 12 volt and return supply these are your uh, return valves i think on the Hydraulics, isobus, um, 
suspension. I mean, I can't really see much in there, but that looks like a pretty elaborate cab suspension setup in there. So if the camera can get in there very well. Everything's damped. All I can tell you about the suspension is it, it works, okay? It works, it's comfortable. Uh, the ride was spot on. So, but the downside of it, looking at all this in here, I would hate to fix it if it went wrong. You know, where would you start? So, uh, balls that you can keep on your, I presume this is the rear washer bottle. I presume that's what that is. It's very pink. It's got to be washers. Hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be washers because that cap isn't pressurised. So, washer bottle. So, your, your uh, uh, three-point leakage balls on there. Your controls on the back. So, basically, up and down, you've got one control, which I presume is on the green, which I thought was the top link. But I don't know if I had to activate because um, I tried using these to put the uh, harrows on yesterday to move them and it didn't work. But I don't know if I, maybe I had to activate it in the cab first. You can't just jump out and do it. You have to flick the switch in the cab. Maybe that's what that was. Um, so uh, PTO, PTO stop. Um, no engine stop. I did mention to um, the guys that on the, some of the bigger New Orleans and that, there's actually an engines, emergency engine stop that somebody got into problems down here. You can literally just slap the button. We did have a giggle because I did say, obviously, um, the engine stop button is a fantastic safety issue, but it's also a source of um, devilment. You know, if you know someone's tractor's got that on, you've got to say hello to them. And as you go saying goodbye, yeah, cheers then, you just slap that button and run off. How often is that going to happen? I'd never dream of doing a thing like that. Childish. So under the bonnet, we went through with James when he bought the tractor in. So you've already seen, providing you watched that video, if you haven't, go back a couple and you'll see James when he delivered the uh, machine, lifted the bonnet up and we went through all the uh, radiator cleaning and maintenance stuff that's under the bonnet. That was all pretty intuitive and simple enough. Yeah. What else could I tell you? And so, like I said, I'm creating this video just in case I don't get to do anything work this afternoon because I don't think I'm going to. Don't think I'm going to have time. I think they're going to come and take it off me before we've had time to play. Yeah, battery, toolbox. So that's the battery for the machine. Nice and easy to get to. Tucked up out the way. I'm sure that should be like that. That's better. Um, toolbox lives in there as well. That's quite heavy. Lives in there. And these are all your, obviously your, I presume there's, oh yeah, fuses I presume. Yeah, just tells you what the fuses are. Okay. And that fella there, because we have an air compressor on here, this is female outlet for um, compressed air. If you want to pump a tire up or blow some crap off, you know, got a little air line, you can plug it in there and literally just, you know, clean your air filters out. And your radiators. Okay. To be honest, there's not much more I can tell you. Um, it's, uh, I've not had it long enough to really do anything. And even if I had it a lot longer, there's not much to do. So, but would I buy one? Well, I'll tell you what, you give me 150,000 pounds. All right, I'll have to put a bit towards the VAT because I ain't got enough in the VAT, VAT account. 150 grand um, for it, and I'd buy it. Uh, but for the farm and what we've got here, it's a lovely machine, but overkill. Overkill from what I want, so right now. Maybe in 10 years' time, if we manage to increase the size of the farm, 
um, I would consider something like this. Uh, but then again, in 10 years, I'll be in my late 60s, and will I want to be spending that kind of money? You know, it's all right if you've got heirs who want to take it on after you, but if there's no one's, you know, if, if when I die, it's all going in a farm sale, it's a case of why would I go into debt? There's no, no reason, is there? No reason, so. But yeah, really nice tractor. I uh, really appreciate Class Western bringing it down and let me have a play with it. There are, um, <coughs> there are um, whispers of me maybe doing a little bit more with Class Western. Um, and it's not because I'm buying their tractor. Um, I think most of it's because of what I'm holding in my right hand. But at the end of the day, if it gives me an opportunity to go around and look at things and play with things and learn stuff, and maybe take you with me and you can learn stuff too. And like Dave said, do you know what? He's, I'm welcome to go. I might sell a tractor for him or a combine or something. I might. Nice tractor, nice machine. Not a bad place to spend your day at work.